Hello, I wish to register a complete. Nothing goes on forever. Not fall, not you, not I, not love, not life. Entropy consumes everything. What does death mean to me? It means that through your life, you've experienced so much, and eventually, barring illness or injury, you get towards the end of your life. Health concerns become greater, risks, things that could take you out of this life prematurely, and eventually it isn't a question of prematurity. It's a question of inevitability. All into a losing struggle. No one has ever beaten these odds. I've looked up ahead, or if you prefer, down the road. I know what's coming. I know no one beats these odds. And it's a matter of getting used to that and growing up and realizing that you're expelled from your mother's uterus as if shot from a cannon towards a barn door studded with old nail files and rusty hooks. And after going through so much, you cease to be. Oh, it's, it's pain and it's not pain and it's passed on. Your existence ends. When we are born, we are allocated a finite number of seconds. Each tick of the clock slices off a piece of us. Tick, a possibility for joy is gone. Talk, a careless word ends one path, opens another. Tick, talk, tick, talk, always running out of time. Yours is almost used up. You're between seconds. Lost in the infinite possibilities between tick and talk. Tick, your lie, talk. Well, it was a good life, but a short one. Tick, talk, tick, talk. I don't fear death, the status of being dead. I would prefer not to suffer on my transition to that state of non existence. I've fallen. And I can't get up! I would prefer to suffer to no degree, mentally, physically, to be, as far as possible, without any form of suffering, and not to see suffering in others. It's a matter of how you use up the intervening time in an intelligent and ironic way, and try not to do everything ghastly to your fellow creatures. That leaves us with the question of why should we care? Somehow I'm glad that at least that bit of our, uh, of our innate nature uh, is useful. But if we praise ourselves for what's in age, we're going to be praising a lot of very unpleasant things too. But when it comes down to death itself, the state of non-life, I have ceased to be. This parrot is no more. It has ceased to be. I'll no longer exist. And so I won't have an opinion. I will simply not be. And perhaps humanity one day won't exist, it's inevitable. In which case we can say that we, for our part, did some good. Perhaps we should take comfort in that. And our legacy, whether it's through our offspring or through our deeds, is at least a positive one. At least as far as what we can offer, what we can give. It should be a positive thing to have given so much and yet to have gained so little. Selfless in our actions, we gain a thought of goodness, but in the end, even that spark fades away. In any case, I'll be watching. And if you're very lucky, I'll drop by to say hello from time to time. I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis.